as I was growing up, I played a lot of sport. Tried everything, uh, from soccer, cricket, squash. Then I sort of had a bit of an interest. It was on TV. Went down to a little local club and uh, started out there. Had a bit of fun. And then as it gradually went on, I got a bit more serious about it. I first started playing bowls when I was uh, six years of age. I just went down to local club and I was watching him play. And I gave it a crack. And ever since that day, I just loved the sport. I was 14 when I first started. My first game was actually um, a falls tournament with my dad, uncle and my granddad, so that was my first introduction into the game. My brother and I used to go up and, and watch dad play and uh, throw jacks left, right and centre around the green and cause a bit of havoc. One bloke came up one day and put a ball in my hand and, and said have a go. Yeah, it's definitely a younger person's sport and it's getting younger I think. Um, there's a lot more younger people getting involved and they're bringing their friends and they're keen as mustard. Well, I think the public perception of bowls is changing a lot. It's not just once you retire that you start playing bowls. Bowls has given me opportunities to go places I've, I've never dreamed of, um, like being selected to play for Australia to go to New Zealand. Well, I've been to England four times. Um, I've been to Malaysia, New Zealand a couple of times, every major capital in Australia. We travel the world playing bowls and we have a lot of friends all over Australia, if not the world, that we still catch up with. Bowls is more than just a game to me. Um, it's given me friendships that are unbreakable. Well, I never knew my grandparents, and um, you know, after being involved with the club as a 10 year old, you know, I had a, a, a hundred grandparents around me, you know, and, and that multi generational input from, that I, I had as a kid was absolutely brilliant. You walk in the door and, and you get greeted by you know, a million different people. Bowls is a great game in general, but I think the, the best part about bowls is the social side. You know, meeting new people. I've, I've, I've been lucky enough to travel all over the world, all over Australia, um, and meet so many people, so many people from, you know, from 10 years old to 90 years old, and I think that's what's so great about our game. The sport offers so much for so many different people, and that's why it is more than just a game. I just got into the game one day during the summer. My father was taking up the game, and I was down here with some of my friends, and we got out and had a look at him playing. We decided to go out and play, and we just got the bug for it. And once you start playing it, you, you'll, you'll get the bug for it. You won't want to stop. It's a very, very competitive game. It incorporates everybody, no matter what age you are, how big or how small, weight. Nothing like that comes into it. It's just down to hand and eye coordination, you know, and generally feel for the game. And the higher up you play, you'll find that. It's a very tactical game. The rules themselves are the same for the different types of game you play, whether it's singles, doubles, triples, or rings is our favourite game. You must uh, have the mat, must be two metres from the end of the ditch, and it must travel 23 metres before you can play. The basic idea is to get as many of your balls around the jack as possible. Richard started playing bowls at an early age and very quickly caught the eye of the international selectors. In 1999, aged just 16 years, he was selected to play on the under-25 international team and was selected every year thereafter until he was no longer eligible. Then he was immediately selected to play on the senior international team. Over the last four or five years, I've probably won about six or seven Irish titles, which gives you a chance to win the British Isles then. And myself and my father and another person from the club now in the end of June will be going over to England to play in the British Isles. Especially if you're playing a competition, it is very competitive. Even if you're playing somebody that's 70, they're as competitive as you are. And it's such a great leveller for anybody because somebody of 70 can beat someone of 20 and someone of 20 can beat someone of 70. Certainly the first stage for any promising young bowler is to get picked for their inter association under 25 team and from that if they continue to show their abilities uh, they will get selected for the under 25 international team. That really is a big step in stone for players of that age group 
it gets them recognised by the International Selection Committee and from that they can then progress on to the senior team. So it is a continuous process, it's a big goal in any young boulder's career to get playing for the under 25 international team. But the more success you get at it, the more time is kind of spent towards playing bowls. But I, I find that I've successfully done both with the family and the bowls. As I said, it's a very enjoyable game and a lot more people should play it. I've had a brilliant time. A really, a time that I wouldn't have had in another sport. I would never have been able to have a family and teach and, and also get to the, the high level of, of the sport that I got to in any other sport. Although I did commit a fair bit of time to bowling, it paid me back in spades. I had some great trips, highly competitive games, and I've got to say I enjoyed every single minute of it.